can ai replace architects this is the question that a lot of young architects have been asking today i can do a rendering in 60 seconds make plans in minutes and this is just the beginning ai is getting better each and every passing day in this video i'll be talking about how ai is changing the world of architecture how we are integrating ai into big companies and how ai has the potential to replace us and finally we will be talking about what we can do to stop this from happening how we can get ahead of the game how we can succeed in the age of ai so without any delays let's get started with the video guys if today you ask me to make an option of a plan or multiple option of a plan i won't be starting from ground zero i will use ai like Maquet AI or Finch 3D to generate an initial concept of a plan because it has the data on what basis a plan should be made and how a bedroom should be allocated or how a living room should be made. Similar thing goes for rendering. For example, I have a SketchUp model in front of you right now. I'm taking a screenshot and submitting it to the AI. On the other hand, I'm taking the same model, exporting it to Twinmotion then assigning all the materials, assigning the lighting settings, assigning the rendering settings and then generating a rendered image. Though this is still taking less time, but it took me around one hour to do this rendering and 30 seconds to do this one. Now you tell me, isn't the AI more powerful than a manual labor? So this is something that is happening and it's getting better and better. On the work front, we are testing AI modules, AI plugins that will integrate into Rhino and integrate into Revit and which will lower the task or lower the workload that we are doing. It has the capacity of doing documentation drawing just from a bare shell Revit model. So these are the AI that we are using and we are testing right now. And soon, if not in a year, in upcoming one or two years we will be integrating ai into architecture environment into offices and this will eventually lead into laying off of people and this scenario is inevitable this is happening and this is the age of ai we can't deny it so now let's talk about how we can stop ai from replacing us so basically after having conversation with a lot of professional in the field all of them have been telling me to do these things. Learn Rhino, Grasshopper, learn Revit and Dynamo and start learning basics of Python scripting because a lot of plugins and a lot of tuning that has been done in Rhino, Revit, Dynamo, Grasshopper, the basis of all of this is Python scripting. Next is you can learn about the prompt engineering. There is a course on LinkedIn learning which talks about the introduction to prompt engineering. I have personally went through this course and this is a really interesting course. It will give you an insight on how prompts work, how the AI generates an image, how AI learns and what you can do to generate a proper image or make the AI to function based on your prompts. I'm not sponsored by LinkedIn Learning or anything. I'm just mentioning this to help you all. And one more thing that you have to master in is the technicalities of drawing. Because AI is still not capable of doing the technical and the bylaws review of whatever the area you are in. It is still a very general overview of architecture. So if you are going into the technicalities of drawing, if you are going into the bylaws of the drawing, then probably you are even more safer. So these are the things that you can do to equip yourself to better stand into the AI revolution. You will be in top of your game. You will be the one who isn't being laid off. If you depend totally on to rendering, if you depend totally on to doing drafting work, doing documentation drawings and all of these, so my friend, you are in danger. 
you have to diversify yourself you have to equip yourself with better understanding of computer technology you have to equip yourself to better understand the working of ai to stand against ai you need to know what is ai that's the conclusion of my video guys and if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and guys take care of yourself keep learning keep growing bye bye